Whose whose side are you on? We kind of missed the forest for the trees here. Mm. Allison or Venera going into the civil war that will presumably start when Viserys dies? That's so tough because you know my my initial inclination was to be like Team Rhaenyra all the way because <laughs> she because because Millie Alcock did such a such a good She's job so good. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we got to see such cool things from Rhaenyra. We didn't honestly get to see a lot of. Alicent's like we didn't get to see a lot of her quote unquote works right we got mm-hmm. to see the impact that all of the intrigue in the court was having on her and how she sort of had to mature into that role uh, throughout the first five episodes and, and we've seen uh, the outcome of that maturation and like how savvy she is now in, de- in dealing with those court situations mm-hmm. um, but I think I mean she's justified a little bit I mean, mm. Viserys still uh, named uh, Rhaenyra heir, and it's wrong of her to sort of rail against that to an extent. But also, Rhaenyra has literally sired children, or, you know, ha- has had children with not her husband, which was the <laughs> whole reason why that marriage was done anyway. It was so that mm-hmm. Corlys could be satisfied by having someone who was his bloodline on the throne. Mm-hmm. So what her actions are actively going to throw the realm into disarray, aside from the fact that she's just going to be a woman on the throne, mm-hmm. you know, so like in terms of the stability of the entire thing, it makes sense for Alicent to be pushing as hard as she does. And then when you throw in the mother angle where she doesn't want her kids to be killed, <laughs> right. you know, there, there's, it's a lot less one-sided uh, than I thought it was going to be. Still, hashtag Team Rhaenyra. Yeah, I mean, Rhaenyra is, like, as as much as Alicent's plight and motives make sense, she's a well-written character, like, I understand, yada, yada, yada. Rhaenyra is just way cooler. Like, I, I want to see her succeed. Like, <laughs> I, I, I care about her more. I'm more... Um, uh, I'm more invested in her. Yeah. Like I, I understand Allison, and Allison is a better person. I mean, she's still skeevy kind of. and and conniving, and has gotten worse over time. But that's that's the circumstances she's in. And doesn't she say something like, "I just want goodness and honor to prevail"? Doesn't she say something like that? Yeah, you when see, she's talking to Kristen. Yeah, so like, you, you, hey, good for her. But Rhaenyra. <laughs> I yeah I, at least, God, I mean, they're both they're both doing and have done really shitty stuff. Mm-hmm. Um. This but, feels sorry. Go ahead. Like the 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 prime example of how petty all this stuff is is literally immediately post birth summoning her. Mm-hmm. Like really? Yeah, uh, that was pretty. And shitty. then she gets there. She, oh, you should be. You, you should, should be, be resting after right. your labors. Oh my god. She knew what she did. Yeah, exactly. I Our mean, audience is not divided on this. It's ninety one percent team Renera. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's like it reminds me of Breaking Bad when. You understand why Skylar is upset. Like, obviously, her husband is literally manufacturing and selling drugs. But also, you want Walt to do well. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, you want him to build his empire. Yeah. So, you know, you're siding with the anti-hero. Well, it's a narrative bias because we're seeing most of the show from Renera's perspective. Yes, right, because absolutely. Allison, until this episode, really, she's been very hard to read. So, I mean, even still, she's kind of hard to read. Because so, also, you know, if you zoom out a little bit, too... I mean, just just to play devil's advocate, because that's, you know, Rhaenyra Stimma girl. Um, she, the, the ideals, like, one of the biggest pain points of the, the initial part of the series was when Viserys allowed her to go find somebody that she, or would, would, the idea was that she would go find somebody that she actually loved and Oops. would go marry them. Mm. Yeah. That was sort of, Viserys is doing and and arguably that's the impetus for the rest of the show is she was mm. incepted with that idea and now she thinks she can just go and do that despite she thinks she can do both things she thinks she can have mm, she you know an right. official marriage and she can go be with somebody that she actually wants to be with so mm-hmm. arguably all of this is Viserys' fault <laughs> but come on dude <laughs> but so so when we see that and we, we we sympathize with her we're like wow you know she really should be able to do those things what does she do the moment that the chips are down? She auctions off one of her kids to go be married to 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 Alicent's Interesting. To to sort of uh, fix this political divide that mm. will only help Rhaenyra's claim to the throne. I was gonna say, do you guys think that was? I don't think that was a genuine. There's some other game there. I don't know what no, no, it is. I think I'm it was stupid. genuine. 
I think it was genuine. Mm. I think it, it really did feel like you know, it made sense to go and do that. It was the smart political move. But if it was her, she would never have suggested that. She would never have suggested that for herself, mm, right? So right. it makes sense. And I do think that she wants to bury the hatchet with Allison. But I, I you know, I think I, it's, I think it's yeah. hypocritical of her to go and do that. And I think it shows a lot more about her character because if you really zoom out about all of this, I mean, she is causing all of these problems about succession in the realm. Mm-hmm. Just her sticking to her claim that her father said that she's going to be queen, so she's going to be queen. And, you know sort of actively bucking the system saying, no, I know that it's supposed to be a guy, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, and, and not listening to other advice. I'm not saying that she shouldn't be queen, but mm-hmm. like her actions aren't actively making things worse, <laughs> especially when you go and you have kids uh, in defiance of the one political marriage that was sort of validating yeah. the entire situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um you know, but we root for her because we're like, she should get to do what she wants to do. Well, when she's put in that situation, she's doing exactly what Viserys was going to do. So we know she's smart, but she's selfish. It seems like you both think Allison is the better mother. Well, undoubtedly. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean just, none yeah, of them are just, great mothers, sure. but yeah, sure. I mean, that's that's pretty much what it is. Yeah, and that's an interesting point to find sympathy in her character. Uh huh. I mean, yeah, because Rhaenyra is not a nurturing loving mother she's a an she, uncle lover <laughs> oh no exactly exactly uh 